3D technology. It's been the wave of the future for more than 50 years now. Movie makers, publishers, and now television manufacturers are toying with the format. Yevgeny Koltanov has tried watching 3D films and says he's had all he can take. Thank you very much. Uh, after the movie, I got a headache and I, uh, I felt kind of nauseous and uncomfortable and that feeling didn't go away for at least about an hour or two. Koltanov is not alone. Optometrists estimate that as many as 30% of people have problems with 3D viewing. Part of the reason you can enjoy a 3D movie is because you have two eyes functioning very well with each other. Each eye is functioning well, it's an independent agent, and then they actually talk to each other. When something moves closer to us, our eyes track the object by turning inward. Bring something close enough and we look cross-eyed. When watching a 3D display, the eyes converge in the same way. The problem is that our eyes automatically focus closer when they turn inward and focus far away when they're looking straight out. The University of California at Berkeley is working to alleviate that problem. We have a device uh, next door in, the, in the, the room adjacent to this that allows us to um, change the distance to which the eyes have to converge. That is how you point your eyes in space to look at something. We can manipulate that independently from how far away the eyes have to focus, that is, uh, change the power of the lens inside the eye to make the image sharp on the retina. Could this technology be the next generation of 3D glasses? Not likely, says Banks, but it could find its way into medical imaging and 3D design. So what does all of this mean? In the short term, it means that movie makers will continue to push the technology as a viable alternative. But in the long term, it means that setting your sights on perfect 3D viewing will take years, if not decades, to perfect. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.